So how do you keep your plants alive? The Weekend Gardener has some solutions. Hello, gardening friends. Welcome to The Weekend Gardener. Well, we've been talking about saving water for uh, quite a few weeks right now, uh, looking at different techniques of doing it. And one of the techniques is to use plants that don't need much water. And the agaves fall into that category. Beautiful, big, old, tall flowers on them, really nice plants. And so um, this first one right here is called the squid. Uh, and this agave, I grow it at home. It's really a nice one. It pups out and gets bigger and bigger. And um, about two to three feet across, really nice. And uh, about 10 degrees. I've never had any damage at all on mine, um, even in the coldest temperatures. Doesn't need a whole lot of water either. That's the beauty of them. Matter of fact, too much water is uh, not good for it. There's another one related to the squid called the octopus. Now the octopus is a bigger one, but it's not as cold hardy. As a matter of fact, maybe uh, 25 degrees. So you'd have to really protect this one or put it in a container in a really protected spot. Another one is this beautiful one, this nice little, oh, a beauty. Look at the uh, skin on this thing. It's called a shark skin. Really nice little one. And it grows two to three feet also. Three feet wide, two foot tall, somewhere in that range. And uh, it's cold tolerant to about 15 degrees. And once again, the shady areas, that's what this one can kind of do. Not deep shade, like people have to try to solve problems in, but bright shade, really bright shade, like under a mesquite or a retama, that kind of shade right there. And finally, this multicolor. This agave multicolor um, is just a wonderful one. And you're gonna find a lot of different agaves, but this one grows two to four feet and uh, can tolerate temperatures down to about 20 degrees. So here's a look at where, uh, some of these agaves. We're gonna look at many more over the next couple of weeks, but these are the ones that are kind of shade tolerant. And that's one of the problems that uh, gardeners have at home, a little bit too much shade. So if you're looking for a xeric plant, a low water use plant, these are part of the selections that are available at garden centers these days. For The Weekend Gardener, I'm John Dromgul. I'll see you next week.